much money do I need if I want to come in Pakistan or to go in Pakistan as a tourist? You might see so many suggestions, so many amounts that you can see online on us or on the social media. Offered by those websites, especially the travel agencies or agencies that offering tourist visas. Or in some social medias that people can... Uh, share their knowledge or their own experience on how much they spend during their visit or as a tourist here in Pakistan. In this case, I have my own opinion. So we cannot ignore that those things that we can see on the website on or on social media can help us as well. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next video that I am going to upload very soon. So let us continue to our topic. As I said, we cannot ignore or we must not ignore those information that the social media or websites are giving us, showing us about the amount or the money that we must need if we ever we want to come or visit Pakistan. But I have my own opinion in this matter. As an individual, if ever I am the one who is coming as a tourist in this country, of course, first thing that I have to do is to know or search what is in Pakistan. What is Pakistan when it comes to the safety of the tourist? Which areas are safe and not safe for the tourist? What are the agencies or government agencies that can help me if ever something happened to me while I am in Pakistan? What are the transportation or public transportation that I can use in my own comfort which is also safe for me to use as well? On my previous video, I mentioned some of the tips that you must know if you will come and visit Pakistan. Now, go back to our topic. Since you are coming to Pakistan and you are curious of how much money do you need to have if you will visit this country. First thing that you have to know, how much is the value of money of your money from your country compared to Pakistani rupees? How much is Pakistani rupees compared to your own money or the money in your country? I think in general, it's better to compare it in into US dollar. Anyway, as I said, you have to consider the value of your money and their money here in Pakistan. About the expenses, of course, you have to go first on how much is the ticket from your country to here and from here to your country. And to know that, you have to go online. Don't stick into one website or into one agency. I mean, ticketing agency. The best thing to do is to check the airlines or the agencies that selling ticket and then compare them if how much is the difference or which is uh, for you comfortable but not so expensive or even expensive as long as you can pay it depends on what you want but if you can find more cheaper of course that's better but of course it must be cheaper but nice next that you have to uh, check is of course the hotel hotel is also one of the one of the most important thing that you have to consider comes to hotel you have to consider the place what kind of hotel how much you have to spend the food but usually when you book for a hotel food is also included so it depends on what kind of hotel that you are going to book i think if you're a tourist it's better to uh, be careful when it comes to food especially here in pakistan because here in pakistan you have to be, to be very careful in eating outside be honest with this here in pakistan uh, most of the food or most of the vendors selling outside doesn't really look clean so if you are that kind of person who is uh, who grows up in a place or in a country that sanitation is one of the thing important thing that he, that the government or you are considering you have to be very careful in eating foods here in Pakistan outside especially the water one thing more that you have to look upon is your lifestyle what kind of lifestyle do you have is it that simple in everything or you are uh, not so simple, moderate, or you are just in the middle, or you are the type of person whose lifestyle is extremely lavish. More that you have to consider is the place. Since we are tourists, of course, we are going to most of the area, which is tourist spot. Tourist places. From the word tourist, it's actually coupled by expenses means if you are a tourist or you are in the tourist places the prices of so many things are also doubled or tripled compared to normal prices 
Remember this, same like the other countries, its provinces has its own lifestyle. And because of that lifestyle, the prices or the amount of the basic commodities or basic needs are also different in each provinces. So in the end, for me, no one can tell if how much money do you need because the amount or the exact amount or money that you need will be depending on you or depends on the place where you are going to. So there are suggestions, moving documents that shows how much you really need if you want to come in Pakistan as a tourist. But trust me, those are just approximately needed. So if you want to Pakistan as a tourist, then it's up to you how much money do you have. But then you have to consider or check what if what is the allotted amount of money that the tourist should bring or should have if he will come to Pakistan. Remember this, if you are a tourist in any other countries, there is an allotted amount of money that is allowed for the tourists to have with them while they are in that country. Bringing more than that is questionable or it will be under investigation. You need to justify why you need more money, more than just the allotted amount of money that the tourist should have. I think having a credit card or debit card is a big help at this time, just in case of emergency, especially if you are not allowed to bring extra money as what is allotted one. Oh, this is the question. What kind of tourist are you here in Pakistan? I mean, are you coming to Pakistan as a, store, as a tourist alone? Or are you coming here in Pakistan as a tourist to meet your Pakistani friend? This too has a different expectations. You will ask if which places are safe here in Pakistan. This is my answer. As long as you are going to the tourist places, especially if the tourist places are known, you will be safe as long as the tourist place is not isolated. Keep this in mind. In many places here in Pakistan, although they are saying it's not too safe, but here's the thing. If you are a tourist, they will check your documents. They will not just allow you to enter in so many places, especially in dangerous places. For those who are going to meet their Pakistani friends, I think that is more dangerous. If that is the case, be very careful. Be smart and always be alert. Make sure to keep your legal documents safe. Never or don't trust to anyone except to yourself. This is all that I can share for today. And thank you so much for those who are keep on watching to my videos. And to those who are giving me strength and encouragement, continue making this kind of videos or those videos that I believe can help to my fellow Filipinos or Filipinas, those other nationalities that are watching my video. Thank you so much. Your effort and time in watching my videos is very much appreciated. I hope that you won't get tired of watching my videos and see you again on my next video. This is all for today and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. See you on my next video. Bye for now.